here's uh what's getting ready to happen the rest of the week we have today and tomorrow seeing the tall origin Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and yes, you too, my all-time favorite, the lovely, the venerable, the well-missed, but not forgotten, the children of the corn. It's me again, your light skin simmer, Ajax87, and I'm back again, just in time, for, as you can see, off in the distance, we have the finale of this year's IAE and today is November 29th through the 30th we're in Zenith Hall we're going to be taking a look at the origin ships origin jump works now some people like origin some people don't but hey teach his own but that's all right if you like the commentary if you like the channel go ahead and I ask you to drop a like and subscribe and don't worry about what's going on in the background and some uh, weird guys over there doing weird things but anyway like i said uh go ahead drop a comment like subscribe and uh let me know what you think as we go ahead and uh make our way and journey to see what's here today all right so today i have no idea it's actually going to transpire oh my look at all these nice gray beads of these ships here that we have today we got this big six monster this 890 over here which apparently isn't for sale and some people have killed themselves for just how awesome it is it's just breathtaking so breathtaking that they've just passed out oh look we got another one breath has been taken away by the awesomeness and the mightiness of this origin this thing is quite huge mind you Let's see if we can actually rent it. I'm assuming these are the only ships we can actually rent. I don't have any. Oh, I do have an option for something. So random. Uh, I had to go and jump into Australia server because for whatever reason, uh, I don't know. None of the other servers were working. Like I had bad issues getting into the hangar. Like it would just. As soon as I get to the spot where you call your ship in, it would just glitch real bad. So yeah, I had to jump to another hangar just to get it working right. But, let's see what we got here. Would this let me enter? That would explain why everything is a little laggy. I would like to get inside of it. I feel like such a new, such a turd. Is there a way for me to rent these? Has anybody else been here today? As you can see, everything is just lagging for me. But that's all right. But hey, I got some ooh, components. Hmm. Apparently, don't waste your money on those because they're not worth all. What are these? Fuses. Oh, excuse me. I'm tired y'all why am I tired it's probably because it's after 3 a.m. in the morning and I've been trying to get this video in but it's just been so much going on Ooh, look I can actually get into this one I mean we already know how this one works and operates but uh, uh, I'm just surprised the other ones won't let you get in is this one rentable can we rent this Okay, I don't let me go up. I don't want to go up. I know what's in here. I know how to... What is happening? Okay, anyway. But yeah, so... Uh, story time. Music and I, we were trying to go... Uh, we had just started playing yesterday, and I wish I had recorded our happenings. Because yesterday, he got out his A1, and we were testing it out, trying to do some stuff and things. We were trying to go practice some bounty missions trying to see how much he actually likes the bounty lifestyle because he's never actually done it before 
And so while we were trying to do this bounty lifestyle, uh, he was trying to test out his bombs, right? I've never seen the bombs get dropped from the A1. I've seen it like on other people's videos for the A2, but we were doing it ourselves. So we took a bounty mission. The guys were outside at a settlement. So we were like, oh, this is perfect. We'll get a chance to go in and, you know, drop some stuff and make stuff blow up and all kind of junk. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh my goodness, forgive me, y'all. I'm tired as all get out. But anyway, uh, you know, we decided to go out there, look at the stuff, and uh, drop the bomb. So he goes out, drops the munition. Ooh, holographic. And he's like, Yeah, I dropped the bomb. So I'm like, Alright, cool. Let me just wait and see what happens. He drops the bomb, and nothing happens. So we sit there and we wait, we wait, we wait some more, nothing happens still. So we're like, okay. So I'm flying close trying to figure out, you know, I want to clear the area so we can get done. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, one bomb blows up, flips my ship backwards. Right afterwards, the next bomb blows up, causes me to barrel roll a couple of times. I was able to get it back into control, but it was just a shock that just out of nowhere, just boom, just that happened. Man, everybody's just... KOing themselves but yeah it was it was crazy it was crazy I wish I had recorded it the very night that I don't record this night buffoon retranspires but anyway I figured I'd tell that story because I wish I could have recorded it just so y'all could see it and I wish I could get inside this daggone ship it's giving me the options to do stuff but I don't know what the options are I guess I need to do the interact wheel huh 600 out tour and I can rent that okay well that's cool let me see how much I can rent this 894 if it'll let me rent it I'll have to wait will it give me the option rent will it let me get in let's see are these the only ships here I can rent it why not how much you rent for did it work I don't know if it worked or not. We'll find out. I'm assuming these two ships next to it are the same. Let's see. This is 600i. I'm assuming, obviously, this is 600i as well with no difference between the two. Some of y'all are like, well, duh, it looks the same. Look, I gotta be thorough. I just got to make sure, alright? Yep, 600i ain't nothing changed. So it should be rented now, yes? Okay. So... It should be in my hangar, right? Well, only time will tell. In the meantime, let's go look around, look at some other stuff. If there's nothing here, well, that door is closed. There's nothing in Hall 4. Uh, maybe it's something over here. If not, we'll just cut to the scene where we have these ships out on the deck and we are flying. So, if nothing good comes about, we'll catch you in just a moment. And if there is some good here, well, stay tuned. So, as it turns out, there's some other stuff here. There is this little bugger, the like, cool little starter ship. It was cool when I first got here. I don't know what the deuce that thing is. Oh, that's the 135C. I don't know what the difference. I guess this is the cargo variant. You can carry some extra cargo. This is peculiar. What, so does the cargo just like sit on top of the ship? What the deuce? Is that like a backpack? <laughs> this look weird. I'm pretty sure some part of it is glitched. Okay, so looks like the standard 130 series. Oh, okay, you can walk through here. Oh, okay, I mean, is this a door? Can you open this up? Oh, don't tell me that's it. Can I stand up? That's weird. So what is this in the back then? Uh, okay, so this is definitely glitched out. 
Cause ain't no way. Ain't no way. Okay, if y'all have ever owned one of those, let me know what it's supposed to look like. But, uh, I mean, that's kind of cool for a cargo runner. You know, a little starter ship and get hide away stuff there. This is at the 300 something, maybe? I don't know. This one don't look as. I don't know. I don't know. What was that in here? I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't. I don't know. Like, you got a nice little cargo spot in here for stuff and things, and you got spots you can sleep in and all that jazz, but I don't know how I really feel about this ship. It's kind of like a useless ship to me. Like, yeah, you could put cargo in here and stuff, and you can put, like, I don't know. You could put something in here. Oh, look, here's the elevator. Habitation deck. I guess we're on the technical. Oh, we are on the habitation deck. Let's go to the technical deck. See, oh my Jesus, what just happened? Okay, let's try this again. I would like to go. Are you serious? Okay, these elevators are special. We're on a technical deck, right? Let me just go to the hab. Okay. Can I go up? Elevators and Star Citizen get on my nerves. See, this is, that, this is that retardation I'm talking about. Why do the elevators not work? You know what? It's a good thing they got a ladder. Take the ladder. Holy freaking crap. Alright. So here are the rooms. I mean, I guess this spot is cool. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. You know, it got your little map deck right here. I don't know if it does anything. I mean, you know, for a touring ship, you know, it's kind of cool. Can I open this door? Okay, so you know this the this the captain spot. I might rent this and fly it around, see what it's like. Music don't like these, he call them the fru fru ships. <laughs> he likes the crusader ships, but you know. I mean it's I mean you know, it's it's not bad, you know, it's 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 alright. You know, it's alright. I'm surprised they ain't call this the swordfish. You know, you could live in this. You could do some, you can do some stuff in this. You know, have a good little time. You know, got little showers in there. You know, got got a nice little bed area here. You got a nice little office here. I like that you got windows and can look outside. I don't want to enter the seat, but you know, okay. You know, this ain't bad. I mean, you know, it's a cool little spot. Do a little some some man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the elevator don't work, so I'm just Geronimo. Okay, you know. It's alright. I'm going to go ahead and rent it, because why not? Why not? I'm going to go ahead and rent it, and uh, yeah, we'll fly it around and see what it's talking about. i got to get used to this interactive situation. Alright, cool. So we rented that. You know what? Let's rent this 135 just just to see, just to see what the cargo situation talking about. Cause I don't believe. Hello. There we go. All right, so that should be rented. Now I've flown one of those before, the 100 I. So you know, it was cool for a short time. Alright, but now, on to the next. Let's see what else they got over here. Again, as always, if they got something good that we see, then uh, we'll press on. And if not, then uh, we'll see you at the hangar. And uh, go from there. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got around this here corner. Alright. Alright, we got the uh, 350s, I think these are. 350 series. 300 series. I had one of these too. These were cool. 
they just, I don't know, they look cool, but they don't have enough space for me. Like, I like it's streamlined, it's slick like, but you really can't do not much with it. You can't access the cargo once it's inside the ship. And I don't know, I just feel like they're underwhelming. You know, I don't know, tell me what you think. Do you like Origin ships? If you do, tell me which one is your favorite. If not, tell me which one you like. Alright, so we got another Origin ship here, which, you know, a little bit of cargo space. Right here. I ain't gonna rent this one because I'm pretty sure it's the same as the one that I rented outside. It's 125A. Alright, and there's another one off back yonder. I really looked at only one of these. I like this one because of the color scheme. You know, black and gold. I just thought it was cool. But again, I just couldn't see myself spending the money on these ships when there's much better ships. I do want to get me one of these. Get a two day rent for this. I can't remember though which one is the better. So that one, I don't know what type of gas a cannon. I guess this is a. M3A This is a repeater And this one is Skeeter Cause it ain't got nothing This is just a racing type I mean it's cool looking I'm gonna rent this one though Why? Cause I think it's cool I got the Drake though And Did it rent? I don't know if it rented or not It didn't give me the screenshot Like it did last time Inner pilot C, inner pilot canopy. I'm assuming I've already rented it. Alright, cool. So, I mean, I guess that's that. Cool, so hopefully we have this in our inventory. Uh, yeah. So we get a two day rental for these. So I'm gonna try to fly all of these at one time. Uh, I can't remember. If I showed it in my last video but if I didn't uh, actually no I didn't show it in the last video I was supposed to record it so it's been a lot of updates and changes to uh, my hangar as far as vehicles that are in there since we're talking about you know the hangar life you remember how a lot of my ships disappeared and got taken away. Y'all probably don't. Y'all probably haven't seen these videos in so long. But anyway, if you do, you remember my most favorite and beloved ship, that Cut Doggy, aka Blackie. Uh, yeah, they took Blackie away from me, and I don't know what happened. Spent all that time fighting, trying to get the money to get it, and finally got it. And during one of the uh, wipes, they took Blackie from me, and I never got her back. Well, it turns out. I finally decided to upgrade and get Blackie back. She's now part of my starter package. But I had to melt her. I had to get her brought up to speed. And yeah. So that's what we got. We got Blackie now. I had to trade in the uh, first. I had the Shindig. Oh, let me uh, clean up. You know, I always want to keep the first, you know, beautiful. Even though. It's a big place. Still want to keep the place you're in and clean. Alright, so I finished up story time once we get to the hangar. I don't want to bore y'all with me just kind of walking through here. So, I'll start back with the story in the hangars. But first, a re up. Here's uh, what's getting ready to happen the rest of the week. We have today and tomorrow, seeing the tall origin. Anvil in a couple of days and then best in show in Zenith Hall. So uh, that's what we got. I miss Crusader and Tumbril and I missed RSI and those were the ones I was looking forward to. But what can you do? At least I got to rent the origins. Alright, we'll see you back in the hangar. Yeah, so you know how I allegedly rented those vehicles. Yeah, they're not here. I thought you were supposed to be able to just call them from your hangar and uh, fly around, but I knew that was too good to be true. 
knew that was too good to be true. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Because we got our cut doggy back. I don't know where it is, why it is. I was sleeping in it, but now it's not here. It's just somewhere unknown. So, I'm going to call in this Drake Cutter. Because why not? See if I can get to my daggone hanger. Yes, I thought I requested delivery. At the new bad bitch. Vehicle selected. Stand please visit us. Oh again. wait, let me unnecessarily correctly because somebody may have thought I said something else. Which you could, I mean I guess it'd be relatively fitting, but the cut list is at the new Babbage. But I can't get to my hangar because stupid elevators. I swear, every other update is something with these daggone elevators. What is what is the issue with the coding of the elevators? Like, this is the thing I hate about being in these, being on the ground. It's so difficult to get through these stupid elevators. And I need to take a drink because apparently I'm about to dehydrate. But every time I get on this stupid game, I can't ever, ever get these elevators working which means I spend half the time in here just wasting time that's why it's been so hard for me to do videos lately I thought I was gonna be able to show y'all something today thought we was gonna be doing something turns out we ain't why because of dummy elevators look at this y'all see this this is ignorant let me guess when I go over here it's gonna freeze yep it's doing that same thing it was doing on the other servers. You get on this side and it starts getting all choppy. Y'all see how choppy this is? Dang on it. Alright guys, well, I tried to show y'all something. Thought this was going to be an interesting video. Probably not. Uh, I may do a follow up video to this. We'll see. But, uh, just trying to get back into the habit of recording again this was a relatively short video but again if y'all want to see me do something on here y'all want to hang out with me and music y'all want to see something want me to go experience or explore some things in the verse you're interested in getting into star citizen but you don't know what it's really about well this is you know a little bit about what it's about but hey don't let this one thing bother you because you can always just switch servers Yes, I'm standing here waiting for the elevator to come, and it is not coming. So, with that being said, uh, I thought I was going to be able to get out here, show y'all some things. But it's okay. Maybe next time. But as always, if you like, comment, you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you're new to Star Citizen, go ahead and grab that uh, code in the description section. Place it in where you begin to create your new profile. For you to get a 5,000 extra starting credits when you start your new account. And uh, come and join me. Look for me, Ajax87, on Discord and, and Star Citizen. And uh, let's go explore together. But again, as always, the Light Skin Simmer, Ajax87. And I'll see you among the stars. We out. Well, I'm stuck in here, but y'all are out. But you know what I mean. Alright. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.